Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rakha Kodash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. Yahweh is the heavenly father's true name in ancient Hebrew, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son, the savior and redeemer of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Uh, this is our article um, that, you know, the chief uh, Gabar Rakha sent to our um, group chat. Um, well, he actually sent this right here, but I'll read this article real quick. It says, a former Texas mayor resident, uh, mayor said residents should fend for themselves. And this came out today, February 18th, 2021. So I'm going to read, he deleted uh, the guy, which is named the former um, Texas mayor of Colorado City, Texas. Uh, he resigned after um, <clears throat> after posting this, but this is what he said. He says, let me hurt some feelings while I have a minute. No one owes you or uh, no one owes you, I guess it's meant to say, or your family anything. Nor is it the local's government responsibility to to support you during trying times like this. Sink or swim, it's your choice. The city and county, along with power providers or any other services, owes you nothing. Now, if you know about what's going on in Texas, they're having a rolling um, power outages, which is actually something that is designed. All right, it's not um, it's not because of the weather, but they're actually um, the the power company which is uh, privately owned, they are, um, they are uh, purposely uh, uh, taking out the power, all right? And it's supposed to be for, you know, a certain time periods. However, um, a lot of people are testifying that they have been without power for, for, you know, days on end, okay? Once again, it wasn't something that the, the weather actually did, but it was, actual, it was actually the power company's um, choice to um take off <clears throat> excuse me it was a, the a, the um the electrical company's uh, choice to uh um take down the power grids okay so and remember these are the these are uh this electrical company the power company they're being paid by the citizens so it says i'm sick and tired of people looking for a damn handout if you don't have electricity you step up and come up with a game plan to keep your family warm and safe, which a lot of, <laughs> a lot, of, this is going to show you the, 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 the evilness, all right, and the wickedness of Esau Edom, man, all right, this, this is their mindset, because a lot of people have been trying to come up with game plans, but um, as, as, you know, brothers been saying, as different people have been showing, you know, on social media, that, they wasn't even prepared for this, you know. The the their the people who they put in in, in authority, their congressmen, their leaders, who well, whatsoever you, they didn't even let them know like this was going to happen or this was going to be a thing, you know. It just sprung up on them. All right, it says, um, if you have no water, you deal without and think outside of the box to survive and supply water to your family. If you are sitting at home in the cold because you have no power. And are sitting there waiting for someone to come and rescue you because you are lazy is the direct result of your raising. Now, you, you already, you know, he not he didn't say it, but you can hear the undertone on, on who he's uh directing his this message to. Because that whole false narrative of of, of being lazy and laziness is a narrative that Esau uh, tries to put on Jake, even though we the ones that build this damn country up. All right. It says only the strong will survive and the weak will perish. Folks, God has given us the tools to support ourselves in times like this. This is a this is sadly a product of a social socialist government where they feed people to believe that that the few will work and others will become dependent for handouts. Am I sorry that uh, am I sorry that you have been dealing without electricity and water? Yes, but now, who's once again who whose choice was it to to take out the power grid to to shut off the power? Okay, the the the, the citizens. Remember what happened to the we the people? Okay, the the republic. 
they didn't consult with the with the with the ones who are paying them. They didn't consult with the citizens on if this is a good idea. You know, they didn't tell the citizens or ask citizens how long do you think power should be off. You know, they just t- shut the power off, and it was supposed to be a rolling power outages. However, once again, people have been without power for days. All right, uh, some people said since Sunday. Today is Thursday. All right, and if it comes on, it will come on for only about like I- I've seen one um, clip where a dude said from. From Thursday till I mean from Sunday till now, he's only had a total of four hours of electricity and in, 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 uh you know in power. All right, so over the past was that Monday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So over the past five hours, all right, only four of those hours he has has this person has power. So it says, but I'll be damned if I'm going to provide for anyone that is capable of doing it themselves. We have lost sight of those in need and those that take advantage of the system and mesh them into one group. Bottom line, quit crying and looking for a handout. Get off your ass and take care of your own family. Bottom line, don't be don't a part of the problem. Be part of the solution. All right. So you also have uh, clips of uh, Ted Cruz, who is who's the governor of Texas. You know, he <laughs> he hauled ass. And went to Cancun, you know, while, you know, the the the, the citizens that he was supposed to be governing, he's the governor, you know, is over there dealing with this um with this situation, man. He uh, he's out in Cancun, you know, sipping the my sipping Mai Tais and pina coladas. But once again, this goes to show you the mindset of Esau ultimately why this devil needs to be taken out of the way, man. Why he cannot, he's not fit to rule. You know, he has no mercy, he has no, you know, grace, he has no compassion. All right. And ultimately, he's going to be judged based off of the way he he is. He's ruled. You know, the Lord is going to give this devil his righteous recompense, man. So uh, basically, this is just uh, this uh, an article, you know, headlining this uh, tweet that this guy said. Um, But he 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 resigned at the said at the, he, you know, made these comments. But, you know, the Lord is letting is allowing Esau to now show his horns more and more. All right. It's becoming evident that this devil or who the devil of the Bible speaks of, who's who's the wicked. All right. It's becoming evident, man. There is no need to question it. The Lord is showing exactly what's in the minds of of Esau, Edom, exactly how cruel, how, you know, uh, uh, vile they are, man. All right. So it says the post struck a nerve in a state where hundreds of thousands of people have been without power and water and freezing temperature for days because of the of the winter storm. Criticism and reactions to the posts were made on Mitchell's County Issues Facebook page where residents were sharing information on how to help each other by driving in with bottled water, using private vehicles, raising funds, sharing tips on how to keep warm, and offering to help with vital appointments. Temperatures were were in the teens on Wednesday in Colorado City, which lies about 200 miles west of Dallas and has a population of about 4,000 people. All right, so um, let's get this scripture. You know, just want to bring this out real quick, not to make it too long. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 12, verse 10. It says, A righteous man regardeth the life of his beasts, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. All right, so even the tender, even the tender mercies of, of Esau are cruel, man, because he's just he's just, you know, uh uh a vow, a vow beast, man. You know, he's a, a natural, a natural brute beast. Who has no mercy? Who has no uh, a compassion? Isaiah thirty-two verse uh, six. It says, uh, "For the vile person will speak villainly, and that's exactly what he's done." Okay, go into this word, uh, villain, villainly, a villa- uh, villainy. So, like, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, senselessly folly, disgraceful folly, uh, right? Profane actions. Okay, so that's who? That's Esau, man. All right, there is no person more vile than uh, Esau. Who's more profane, profane than Esau? It said, and his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy and, and to utter error against the Lord, to make empty the soul of the hungry, and he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. And that's exactly the mindset of that guy. We know what he was saying. You know, if you can't get water, water you know, sink or swim, that's on you. You know, not trying to provide you know, any type of, as being a mayor, you were supposed to have compassion. You're supposed to try to, you know, extend um, ways for your citizens to find help. But you over here is talking about, uh, it's your fault. Get off your ass and nobody owes you anything. (laughs) 
Hey man, but hey, this is that's this is good. You know, this is a good thing. It's showing the the mind of Esau, man. Because you people got a misnotion of this devil thinking that he's just some teddy bear. Nah, this is this is the fucking devil, man. Okay. It says the the instruments also of the of the churl are evil. He deviseth wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words, even when the needy speaketh right. So so there you go, man. His instruments, his mindset, you know, the the way he he uh, uh, rules over over you know this the population, it's all wicked, man. And that's why this place is 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 uh, going you know uh, to to a shit show, man. That's why every day. This is more and more uh, um, things showing the downfall of Babylon the Great. So last scripture, James chapter 2, verse 13. For he shall have judgment without mercy that have showed no mercy. And mercy rejoiceth, rejoiceth against judgment. So Esau doesn't show mercy. He's not going to have mercy, man. When, when, when the time of his recompense come, when the time of his judgment comes, and we are quickly approaching that, there's going to be no mercy for this devil because this right here shows the mindset of Esau. He does not give a damn about anybody except himself. Okay, so you know I ended there, Lord willing. This was edifying unto the elect. Call Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakakwadash. Till next time, Shalom.